Okay. So, for Christmas, I got the HP Reverb G2. Uh, it's a PC VR headset by Windows. And even though a headset made by Windows might not sound like, I guess, the best thing, it's actually one of the best headsets you can get right now, I'd argue. And uh, even though it came out about a year ago, and there were some pretty good headsets announced this year, it's still one of the best, I think. So yeah, let's, um, I wanted to make a review on it, because, uh, I don't know what other ones are make. <laughs> I'm going to start with the controllers, because they're kind of unique, uh, compared to some of the others, compared to some of other headsets controllers. They remind me a little bit of the Quest controllers, um, just kind of how it's laid out, the buttons, but the ring is a lot different. And when you turn it on, it actually lights up. Uh, so if if any of you have used a Quest before, you know that if you look in the controllers with pass-through on, you can actually see it light up. And this is basically what it looks like, but you know, obviously you don't have to wear the headset to see it. Um, it's, it's, actually, it's actually pretty cool. Um, and overall, they actually work pretty well. When the headset first came out, a lot of people complained about the tracking, saying it wasn't that good. Um, but they released an updated version more recently, and it basically fixed the tracking, because I haven't had any issues with it. So yeah, overall the controllers are pretty good, I'd say. Um, takes a little bit to get used to, to where the buttons are at, but once you get used to it, it's pretty good. Um, the only bad thing about them, though, is that... Um, the rumble or like the vibration sometimes is a little too noticeable like uh, I was playing Gorn the other day and when you pick up a weapon um, and walk around with it the controller vibrates like really hard and there's probably a way to turn that down I just haven't found it yet so you just kind of have to deal with it but yeah now I'm gonna get to the headset uh, it's amazing I'm just gonna start with that it's really good um, like, as soon as you put it on, the first thing you realize is that it's really comfortable. This faceplate they have in it, if I can get it out, um, is really comfortable. I don't know what this is made out of, honestly, but it's, it's very comfortable. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than the Quest, but the Quest is kind of front heavy, and the back of this headset is actually really sturdy, so it kind of just makes it not front heavy. But also, since standalone headsets kind of have to have everything built into it, they're going to be more heavy, I guess. This is actually really light. Um, yeah. I got off topic. I'm going to get back to the, <laughs> the, the faceplate. Um, it has a little rubber divider here for where your nose goes, so that when you wear it, you literally can't see any light come in from outside. And is like really surprising the first time you put on the headset because any other headset you'll see like if you tilt your head up you can see through the bottom of it to check your phone or anything and that's kind of immersion breaking but with this it's actually i'm still trying to get used to it because i'll look around lift my head up because that's my instinct at this point and i just i, I can't see out of it it's actually it's it's really well made the next really noticeable thing when you wear the headset has got to be the lenses and the quality. The resolution of this headset is some of the highest out there right now. At least w when it released, it was the highest resolution headset. And uh, of course, it's not anymore with things like uh, the Vario Aero. Um, but that cost over a thousand dollars. So I don't think anybody's, you know, just ready to go out and drop a thousand bucks on a headset unless it's like okay i just had to check to make sure what the price was vario aero is about two thousand dollars which i don't think anybody's just willing to go and spend that much money on a headset especially not when for four or five hundred dollars depending on if it's on sale you can get this and have an amazing experience still the one thing visually that a lot of people complained about with this is the field of view. Um, it's kind of, it's it's a lot less than some headsets have. 
and that's just uh, some of it is because of the comfort. The faceplate here takes up so much space that your eyes are kind of far away from the headset, and the field of view is just not that big. Still, though, I haven't had too much problem with that, and you won't really notice it once you get into it. The headset also has these kind of floating over ear speakers, like some other headsets have, like the Vive, the uh, pretty sure the Valve Index has them, and it they're they're pretty loud, uh, and it makes for a lot better uh, experience than with something like the Quest, with audio at least. Um, I know I keep mentioning the Quest as kind of a this is better than that. The Quest is a good headset, like a really good headset. So saying that everything about this is better than the Quest is saying a lot. And lastly, um, this headset's not perfect. There definitely are a few things wrong. Um, namely, I gotta say, the software for it, uh, Windows Mixed Reality Portal, is broken. Uh, it, it does not work well. Um, setting it up took me hours just to download it because it just didn't feel like downloading. I had to update to Windows 11 just to get it to work. And once it did work, it's pretty laggy and like it's overall just it's not that great of an experience using Windows Mixed Reality. But once you get into Steam VR, it works great. I'm sure it works great on most computers. At first, it did not work great on mine. And pretty much every game I opened would crash uh, either immediately or just soft lock, and I couldn't do anything inside the headset. So I had to take it off, restart it, just for it to do the same thing again. Eventually, I tried changing the resolution in Steam VR from 100% to 60% to the native resolution of this headset. People say that's not what you're supposed to do, but for me, I mean, it worked, and now I can actually play games, so I'd say it works. Uh, if you're having that problem with this headset, definitely do that, because you'll actually be able to play games. Other than that, though, other than those few things, this headset is great. And if you're thinking about getting into PC VR, like say you just got a PC you can actually use with VR, um, I would definitely recommend this. I, at first I wanted to get the Valve Index, but after realizing that this headset's just better and half the price, that's kind of hard to beat. Um, so yeah, if, if you're getting into PC VR, definitely look at this because I'm thinking even for the next few years, this is going to be one of the best, just price-wise and quality-wise. And, uh, yeah, that's about it.